Good evening, my little nerds. I am Dr. Shireen Idris. It is nighttime because there was no time this morning to record a video for all of you. So you guys are catching me at the tail end of my day. I am currently in my PJs. My face is effed up <laughs> because not only did I get a crazy wind burn, this is not lipstick. This is a wind burn from the dramatic drop in temperatures outside, but I am also bruised and swollen as you guys can see because i did prp which is when you take your blood you spin it and you inject it into the areas where you want to stimulate your own collagen production so it's not fillers it's your own collagen that is promoted through the production of platelet rich plasma and that's why my face is swollen today and believe it or not i did it more than 48 hours ago so it was actually insane yesterday morning um so Today, my little darlings, I thought we would do a roundup of some of my favorite serums of 2021. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 different serums that I broke down into various categories to try to make your life easier. Um, so let's, without further ado, dive in. I thought I would kick off the list with my Favorite that I've spoken about over and over again, the one by Avino, the Calm and Restore Oat Serum. This one retails for approximately $23. It is a glycerin-based hydrating serum. I absolutely hate the dropper. It sucks. And so you can replace this with a pump top. There is one by Naya that actually works with this. Um, but it is one of the most beautiful, and I'm going to put some over my makeup. I tried to hide my bruising, but it makes no difference because it still shows. Um, I love it. It's lightweight enough, but it really is effective enough, especially if you're somebody who is wearing a mask all day. You do not want to wear something too occlusive, even though we are going into winter time. And if you find yourself on the drier end of the spectrum, you can definitely layer this with a thicker moisturizer and it gets the job done. My second favorite one is one by Aven. It is also a glycerin-based hydrating serum. It comes in a pump, which is better than the dropper of the Avino. I like this one, however, there is fragrance in it. There's a little bit of a rose fragrance. So if you're sensitive, I would approach with caution. I think though that if you have underlying redness, Aven products are worth trying because they are geared towards soothing out the redness. And number three, and I've never actually brought this one up before, but it's by Dieu, the Deliverance Serum. And I think this one is $69 or so. It is also a glycerin-based hydrating serum. It has a hemp complex in it that helps to calm and soothe your skin. And it has a water lily complex as well that is also a soothing complex. The formulation is quite lovely. And I, oops, there you guys can see. I finished most of it because it's so lightweight. Um, so those are my hydrating serums. Moving on to niacinamide serums, because not more is not more is not more. Um, I think my favorite one, hands down, is this one by Glossier, Glossier, <laughs> Glossier. It is their super pure niacinamide serum. It is for 28 bucks, I think. Um, the reason I love it is because they got it right. It is not only within the right percentage range, between I think 5% niacinamide. It also has zinc, which helps to calm um, any sort of irritation. Think of like zinc as what they use in any kind of baby diaper paste. It calms the redness, it soothes things. I can't tell you guys, my list is out of control. It soothes things down. And with niacinamide, it's like the perfect combination and it has no cast. So I really, really do like this one. And I'm going to sound like a kid and I don't care, but I do like the one by Alpha H only because I love the color. <laughs> it's horrible, but it's true. It just looks so cool. And sometimes you just want things that make you dream. And this one just makes me dream a little bit. Plus, it's also within the right range of 5% niacinamide. That one retails for $64. Moving on. Next one is one that I've actually never spoken to you guys about, but it is one by Cause RX. This is there. I'm going to read it to you because I'm going to butcher it. The Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. It's actually much more of a serum than an essence. When I think of an essence, I think of something that is very lightweight, almost like a water-like consistency. This actually has body and depth. 
And it is a classic K-beauty trend in which they believe that snail slime has very much restorative and healing properties. It does definitely hydrate. I will say I have used this a, a couple of times before I have used any sort of moisturizer. And I think it allows the moisturizers and the serums that follow to penetrate deeper and better. And it has a huge play time, so a little bit goes a long way and this bottle can last you for God knows how many months. Um, it also has betaine in it, which controls cell water balance. And unfortunately it has sodium hyaluronate, which is not my favorite, but if you are gonna have a product with sodium hyaluronate, might as well have this one and get it out of all of your other products that you're gonna use after this. Moving on, we have a bunch of little glycolic acid serums that I wanted to touch on because if you've been following me for a while, you know that I love glycolic acid. It is one of my favorite exfoliating acids because not only does it really go in deep to break up the superficial dead skin cells, it also has regenerative properties and it helps to regenerate collagen over time. So it is one of those that just helps to regenerate collagen, exfoliate superficial dead skin cells, and it's also a humectant, so it helps to slightly plump and gives the appearance of firmer looking skin instantaneously. My favorite being this one by L'Oreal's 10% Glycolic Acid in their Revitalift Derm Intensives line. This one retails for $28. It has no brightening effects. It's literally just pretty much glycolic acid in a glycerin base, and it has no smell. So a little bit goes a long, long way. I usually use it just at night. It's a, it has a little bit of a chewiness to it, but you feel that instant hydration. Use it at night because it does make you more sun sensitive. So make sure in the morning you're following it up with sunscreen. La Roche-Posay also has a very interesting glycolic acid, their B5. Um, B5 Serum Dark Spot Corrector, as it's called. This one is interesting because it's combining glycolic acid at 10% with brightening ingredients such as tranexamic acid and kojic acid. So this is kind of a, a really strong two for one, but it also has a stink. So if you are very sensitive to scents, this might not be your best friend, but if you don't care, I would go for this baby. It's 40 bucks. You can get it at any Duane Reed, Walgreens, CVS, and it can definitely exfoliate while brightening your skin. Again, I would use only at night and I would skip the morning use because it's gonna make you more sun sensitive. If you're an extremely sensitive soul and you cannot tolerate the glycolic acid and the brightening ingredients and you're only looking to brighten, SkinCeuticals has a product called Discoloration Defense, which is this guy right here. I have completely used this up so it is oxidized and so it's not the right color or texture at this point, but this baby retails for, I believe, $98, and it has a combination of niacinamide, which helps to repair your skin barrier, um, tranexamic acid, like the one in La Roche-Posay, as well as a lantoin, which is a soothing ingredient. Um, so if you're looking for something to brighten that isn't as irritating as the La Roche-Posay, I would look at the SkinCeuticals Discoloration Defense. Now, if we were to talk about other brightening serums, this is a very hard one to find currently on the market, and so I have bought this one a while ago, and I have not used it at all, but it is the um, Differin Dark Spot Correcting Serum with 2% Hydroquinone. They are pulling hydroquinone from over the counter, so if you have your hands on this, I had a patient who flew in from Chicago the other week and told me he found it from a local, I think it was Walmart or Walgreens, um, so I know it's in the Chicago area, but hydroquinone is the gold standard when it comes to evening out your skin tone. So if you can get your hands on this baby, then get your hands on it. It's 20 bucks. 2% hydroquinone over the counter is not necessarily the strongest out there. It's actually not, it's the lightest. You usually wanna go for a prescription, but it is also a thick water-like consistency, but a little bit thicker than water. It has a little bit of a scent, um, but if you can't get your hands on a prescription, this is the best bet you have if you have melasma or any sort of stubborn pigmentation that you're trying to get rid of. Tip for the wise, never use hydroquinone on a spot. So when people are using it, for example, like on acne scars that leave hyperpigmentation, I tell them to use it throughout their face because otherwise you might have areas of hypopigmentation and that's no, never something that's a good look. So I would not recommend that. But different is a great one if you have melasma. So. 
let's get back onto our train and now we're going to jump into the retinol serums and i'm going to start the pack with shawnee darden i love her retinol reform this one retails for 88 dollars. it comes in a pump which is great um it is an alternative to harsher retinols because it has encapsulated retinol that is combined with a lactic acid to help also brighten and even out your skin tone it also has antioxidants like the green tea extract as well as rosemary leaf extract in it to help your skin protect itself so i will show it to you guys it's a thicker yellow based kind of lotion um it's pretty lightweight though it has no scent i'm pretty much just smelling the hydroquinone that i just put on my hands but i've never really had an issue with irritation with this one so something that i would tell people if you want to get into the retinol game but you're nervous not bad you can try it it's a little bit pricey but it might be worth trying out if you don't want to splurge and spend 88 bucks then l'oreal has a pure retinol at 0.3 which is the beginner entry level for all retinols I have used this one as well. I have tried this one several times. It is a white, thick consistency. Is this empty? Oh, nope. Um, it's on my computer keyboard. But this is a white, thick consistency. Uh, my hands are going to be smooth as a baby's bottom by the end of this show and tell for you guys of the roundup of 2021 serums. I like this one because it's also... It's the lightest version of a retinol that you can get over the counter without being irritating. I've tried the ones by SkinCeuticals. I've tried their, I think they have their 0.3, their 0.5 and their 1.0. And I found it to be a little bit stronger than this one. I think this one is much gentler. Um, the only thing is, again, I hate the pump. I hate it. I use it only at night. And if you're too scared to even start with this, then moisturize first to buffer any sort of irritation that you may or may not get from the retinol. But I actually think if I had to pick between this or Shawnee Darden as a beginner, I would pick the L'Oreal one over the Shawnee Darden one. Shawnee Darden, I think, is a little bit for the fancier, you know, set. Um, it is a little bit more pricey, but it is a beautiful, beautiful product. And if you are somebody who wants to go into the quote-unquote retinol alternatives, not that Bakushiol can ever be compared to retinol, not that it's ever been proven to be as effective as retinol, but it's sort of been marketed as the alternative, there is a product that I have recently discovered that I have fallen in love with that gives your skin an instant glow when you do use it, which is Ula Henriksen's uh, Glow Cycle Retin Alt Power Serum. And this one is uh, for $60.00. It has the crucial that is combined with glycolic acid and lactic acid, as well as licorice root extract. So all of these are geared towards brightening and the texture is gorgeous. I will show you guys. It is a beautiful lavender product. Now, anytime I see anything lavender, it makes me think of pigmentation. It really does because it does even it out. I'm going to put it. Oh. You can see my hands are actually a little bit purple because I put so much, but it gives your skin a glow when you use it. And I will get it all in here. Is my hand still purple? No, but you can kind of see that it gives it sort of a beautiful shimmer compared to this hand, which hardly had any. Um, it's a lovely, lovely product. And sometimes, I mean, I know I shouldn't because of the glycolic and the lactic acid, but I have used it once or twice during the day because I do like that glow. If I don't have my hands on my glow screen sunscreen, I might put this a little bit underneath my moisturizer just to give myself that natural shimmer that you can get from it. So it's a great product. This one I said, I think it retails for 60 bucks. So talking about sunscreen, before I use any sunscreen, I always put vitamin C because vitamin C is one of the strongest antioxidants we have and it really boosts the efficacy of your sunscreen, okay? It makes it work better for you. So what are some of my favorite vitamin Cs? Well, I've spoken about this one in our Black Friday Germ Store sale video. This is one by Sunday Riley. It is their CEO Rapid Flash Brightening Serum, and it has tetrahexyl desyl ascorbate, which is beautiful for people with sensitive skin who cannot necessarily tolerate ascorbic acid, which is the active form of vitamin C. Then there was this one, which I've never really spoken to you guys about, but it has come my way over the past week, and I found it to be quite fascinating. 
This one is by number seven. This one is number seven, Radiance Plus, and it is a 15% vitamin C serum, but it has 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid. So it's the ethylated form of vitamin C. My hands are so slippery. Oh my God, I can't even open this. I put way too much moisturizer. Ah, there we go. So it's the ethylated form. It's a massively long dropper. I mean, talk about dropper obsessed. Thank you, number seven. We really do not need it to be this long, but there's hardly any scent to it. It's a very lightweight moisturizer. It's the same consistency as the glycolic acid serum from L'Oreal, and it retails for $25. Now, the ethylated form of vitamin C is an interesting one, which I have not spoken about in my vitamin C video, and I might do a little kind of update to that video, but it is a very stable and promising form of the vitamin C superstar that we all know and love. Um, so I think it's interesting. It's also one that is stable in water as well as in oil. So an interesting one to look out for. And last, if you're looking for an ascorbic acid that you tolerate, that you love, I love this one by SkinCeuticals. It is in a pump, a metallic pump. It's their Floritin CF gel because it's not in a dropper. It's completely blocked from the sun. It stays completely protected from any sort of oxidation. I love it. And it's at 10%, I think, ascorbic acid with floritin and ferulic acid, which are antioxidants that help boost the mechanism of action of vitamin C. So those are my top three vitamin C serums. And moving on to other last minute targeted products that you know I just have to throw in there because if you know me, you know that I work always towards trying to get pigmentation evened out. I think an even skin tone is next to godliness because you can have all the lines and wrinkles in the world, but if your skin tone is not even, it almost doesn't matter how much Botox or filler or whatever you've done. So, or not done. But Paula's Choice has their 10% azelaic acid. And the reason I like this is because it's extremely hard to formulate with azelaic acid. Azelaic acid has a tendency to pill. And so I feel like when you're using this as a kind of a corrective serum, a treatment serum, you're using it intentionally, not just to throw it in there with something else that might make your other products pill on top of it. I recommend using this at night before you moisturize. And if you pill a little bit at night, it's okay. It's part of the process with azelaic acid, but this is at 10% and they combine this with, if I'm not mistaken, licorice root extract as well to help even out your pigmentation. So this one is 36 bucks. It does have a little bit of a weird scent, but it's all part of the game. And second, we have, this is a pricey one. This is one that is good for the holidays for your you know, special lady in your life, your mom, your grandmother, your aunt, your partner, whoever you want to be, who you want to splurge on. But Skin Medica, their TNS Recovery Complex. This is a pricey one. It's probably the most expensive one I have here. It's 200 bucks. It's 200 bucks, but it's almost worthwhile. It has growth factors in it. These growth factors are derived from human cells. It doesn't mean that there's human tissue in here. They grow it in a lab and that lab in which the petri dish in which they grow it is like almost like duplicates of it duplicates of it duplicates of it duplicates of it because there's no human tissue in it but this growth factors are a basically amino acid sequence that tell your cells to speak with one another so that they can promote cellular growth and allow for proliferation wound healing etc um if you're somebody who has a history of skin cancer i would beware but there is no hard proven science around that. The studies and the verdict and the jury is still out. So just approach with caution. But if you have somebody who has a lot of fine lines around your eyes, this might be a nice one or even on your neck. If you want something stronger and you can't tolerate a retinol, this is for the neck and chest. Perfect. And last is Dr. Chart's Sycopare Serum. If you have underlying redness, it is a beautiful one. It is also in a stupid dropper but it is the best dropper I've seen on the market. It is one of the most stable droppers I've actually encountered. And it has a green tint that helps to fight off 
the red that your skin may have. And so it helps to neutralize any underlying redness that you may have. In addition to having Sika, which is a great calming and anti-redness ingredient. And with that, that is my roundup of, I think I said 19 different, some of my favorite ones from 2021, and my phone is absolutely dying and cutting me off every two minutes. So with that, I am Dr. Shireen Idris, a cosmetic dermatologist based in New York City. And I hope you guys enjoyed this version of Pillow Talk Derm. A uh, nighttime edition, and I will catch you guys soon. Have a great night or day, more day. <laughs>